Good day everyone! Welcome to our math class. In this video presentation, we will learn about solving problems involving ratio. With our learning target, solve problems involving ratio using appropriate problem solving strategies and tools. Let's have this story problem. The ratio of basketballs to volleyballs in the cart is 3 to 2. The coach brings in two more basketballs. What will happen to the ratio of basketballs to volleyballs? That's right. The ratio will change. Let's think and understand. There are initially three basketballs and two volleyballs in the cart. Hence, the ratio of the number of basketballs to the number of volleyballs is 3 to 2. If two basketballs are added, there will be 3 plus 2 basketballs and 3 volleyballs. So, the new ratio will be 5 to 2. You can use a drawing of before and after model to show the change in ratio. The ratio before is 3 to 2. You have these illustrations, 3 basketballs and 2 volleyballs. And the ratio after is 5 to 2. You have 5 basketballs to 2 volleyballs. Or, we can make a list to show the change in ratio. Using this table, we can use this listing method. Number of basketballs, volleyballs, and the ratio before and after. 3 to 2. The ratio is 3 to 2. Or 3 basketballs and 2 volleyballs. After, 3 plus 2, or we added 2, and volleyballs, which is 2, the new ratio, or the ratio is 5 to 2. The total number of basketballs after 2 were added became 5. Hence, the ratio of the number of basketballs to the number of volleyballs became 5 to 2. This means that the number of basketballs in the card is 2.5 times more than the number of volleyballs. There will be a change of ratio when either of the terms in a ratio is changed. Let's have more example. Example number 1. The ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls in the library was 3 to 2. When the bell rang, 7 boys arrived and the number of boys became twice as many as the number of girls. How many boys were there in the library before? Now we are looking for the number of boys before 7 boys arrived given the ratio of 3 to 2 and 7 boys arrived is a clue and twice as many as the number of girls we can get or solve the problem by using the before and after model this shows the number of boys and the number of girls before. After, we have twice the number of boys. That's why we have this illustration or a diagram or a model. Before, we have the ratio of boys to girls, which is 3 to 2. After, the ratio of boys to girls is 4 to 2. 
Where did we get 4? Going back to the problem, we have twice or the number of boys became twice as many as the number of girls. Since the number of girls is 2, then what is twice of 2? Oh, that's why we have 4. The number of girls did not change or there is no change. While the number of boys, we have 7 boys arrived or there is a change. The difference in units for the number of boys is equal to 4 minus 3 or here 4 minus 3 equals 1. Since 7 boys arrived, then 1 unit is equal to 7. Therefore, if there are 3 units, that is 3 times 7, that's equal to 21. There are 4 units, that's 4 times 7, it's equal to 28. And 2 units is equal to 2 times 7, that is 14. This means that there were 21 boys in the library before 7 boys arrived. To check if the answer makes sense, the ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls before 7 boys arrived is 3 to 2 or that's equivalent to 21 to 14. Well, the ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls after 7 boys arrived is 4 to 2 or equivalent to 28 to 14. If you look at 21 and 28, the new number is 28 since there are there were seven boys arrived. And that means our answer makes sense. Example number two. The ratio of numbers of apples to numbers of bananas to the number of durians is 3 to 7 to 2. If there are 12 apples, how many fruits are there in all? So we are looking for the total number of fruits given that there are 12 apples in the ratio of 3 to 7 to 2. We can use a diagram to get the answer. If you have one hole here, three shaded parts or the red part shows the number of apples which is 12 the yellow part shows the number of bananas and the green parts show the number of durians since 3 units is equal to 12 then 1 unit is we will divide 12 by 3 units 12 divided by 3 units equals 4. So, 7 units is equal to 7 times 4 equals 28. The 7 units, you will multiply it by 4, that is 28. And 2 units, that is equal to 2 times 4 equals 8. Or this 2 units class, we multiply it by 4, we have the answer of 8. This means that there are 12 apples, 28 bananas, and 8 durians. So there are 48 fruits in all. So we get the total by adding the number of apples, the number of bananas, and the number of durians. For example number 3, we have the ratio of the number of dogs to the number of cats in the veterinary clinic is 2 to 3. When 12 more dogs are added, the number of dogs becomes twice the number of cats. What is the new ratio of the number of dogs to the number of cats? What is the total number of cats and dogs now? 
So, we are looking for the new ratio of number of dogs to the number of cats and the total number of cats and dogs given that the ratio of 2 to 3 and 12 more dogs that are added and a clue of twice the number of cats. You can draw a table and use a systematic listing and equivalent fractions to get the answer. Just like this. The table that shows are listed here are the old ratio or the number of dogs to the number of cats. Then added, adding 12 dogs. The new ratio, the number of dogs to the number of cats and the total number of dogs and cats. Let's start with thinking of the equivalent fractions of 2 to 3. All right. We know that the equivalent fraction or the equivalent uh, ratio of 2 to 3 is 4 to 6 and 6 to 9. If you find it difficult to get the equivalent fraction or the equivalent ratio, you may look at the numbers vertically. Just then here are the multiples of 2. We have 2, 4, 6. Also in 3, we have 3, 6, and 9. Okay. Now let's add 12 more dogs. So 2 plus 12 is to 3. 4 plus 12 to 6. 6 plus 12 to 9. So the new ratio here is 12 plus 2 is 14 to 3. 4 plus 12 that is 16 to 6. 6 plus 12 that is 18 to 9. To get the total, just add the number of dogs to the number of cats. 14 plus 3, that's 17. 16 plus 6, that's 22. 18 plus 9, that's 27. Looking at the results, we will use the ratio that shows that the number of dogs is twice the number of cats. So look at the new ratio. Which ratio shows twice the number of dogs to the number of cats? Is 14 twice of 3? Hmm. Is 16 twice of 6? Hmm. Is 18 twice of 9? Yes, only the ratio 18 to 9 satisfies the condition since 18 is twice of 9. This means that the new ratio is 18 to 9 or the simplest form is 2 to 1. The total number of dogs to cats now is 27. To check your understanding, what makes a ratio change? What are the different tools or strategies can be used in solving problems involving ratio. That's all for today. Please like, share, and subscribe to watch more videos. Thank you for watching.